It's Will Martin from the Denver Nuggets. We live, kicking it, and real fans, real talk. Fans, real talk dot com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cat scan. Hello, everyone. Mark the Stat Man Scavage. Real fans, real talk here at the Family on Three event in Coney Island at MCU Park, home of the Brooklyn Cyclones for the kickball game for the kids. Kicking for confidence. I'm here with Denver Nuggets own Will Barton. Thank you for coming on to the program. Yes, sir. Thank God. Now, I'm guessing since you went to University of Memphis, that your Memphis roots uh, had you link up with Mason, or yeah, that's exactly what I met him. I had my dad going to University of Memphis. You know, he, he stayed there for a while. And, you know, we got cool. Well, I was attending Memphis. We've been uh, tight ever since. All right, definitely. Now, you chose to leave uh, college early. Um, after your second year, what do you think about the the fact that you know athletes can't leave after high school anymore? We've seen so many greats, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Kevin Garnett, etc., getting drafted out of high school. Now it's being restricted. What's your thoughts on that? I think it's some BS. I think kids should be able to leave show out of high school. You know, I feel like basketball, NBA, that's the only sport where you know guys can leave show out of high school. I mean, who's to tell you you're young enough or old enough to? I have a job. They let you do it in baseball. They let you do it in soccer. So I feel like you know you should be able to show high school basketball too. If you're that good and, and you're ready, why not be able to do it? You know, it's injury that can prevent you from getting to where you, you know you want to go. So I feel like you should be able to seize anything. You know, the younger you are. Definitely, and uh, obviously college athletes don't get paid, so getting drafted out of high school, you get paid right away. Like you said, injuries, you could be injured your first year in college and then have nothing. So what do, you, what do you think as far as college athletes not getting paid? Do you think that should change? Yeah, I definitely think that should change too. Um, you know, there's a lot of college students that, they, that come from inner city, don't have nothing, parents don't have nothing. Some, some, some kids don't even have parents, so I feel like it's definitely vital for for college athletes to get some money, just to be able to take care of themselves, and feed themselves, feed themselves, because you know most of us we're away from home, away from our family, so we are, we really rely on ourselves for support. So I, I feel like kids definitely should get a little cash. Definitely agree with you on that one. Now, uh, family on three, kicking for confidence, teaching the kids to stay confident early. A lot of role models are coming in to speak to the kids. How important is the family three on organization to you? Uh, it's really important. Like you said, we had um, the, 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 the kicks for confidence, and that's, that's really important, especially you know, the, to, to get them in their heads real young. I mean, when I was young, I had you know, some self esteem issues. I wasn't always the most confident. Once I got real good at basketball, it really um, brought out my personality. So hopefully we can do that for some of the kids here and they can, you know, blossom. And definitely uh, sticking with it, you were in the D-League for a while and then recently with the Nuggets. I mean, how did you stay motivated to not give up on your dream uh, of being in the NBA? Um, because I got drafted, you know, I, I had a guaranteed contract. I had just got sent down in the D-League because I wasn't playing that much for them. So I was never actually in the DVD, so I knew I was good enough. You know, I'm just young at the time, just coming out of college, 21, so I knew my game had to mature a little bit. It gave me some time to play and get better, and I just used it as a learning experience instead of, you know, being mad while I was down there. I just used it to my advantage, and that helped me to become a player I am right there. What message do you have for the kids out there as far as work ethic? Um, whatever you want to do in life, just, uh, you know, go full throttle at it. Don't have a plan B. Put all your time and effort into whatever you want to do in life and just chase it. Don't listen to nobody. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Because you can do anything you want to as long as you got faith. And you just grind. Definitely uh, co-sign that statement here with Will Barton. Future NBA great already. Uh, uh, NBA player for the for the Denver Nuggets. Definitely has a lot of potential. Uh, make sure you watch out for him and. Uh, Thank you for joining us on Real Fans Real Talk, and we'll see you next time. RealFansRealTalk.com Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh.